Welcome back in, everyone. 1016. Let's start you out here taking a look over Columbia right now. It's really been a pretty nice day. You know, we did see an excessive rise in some high temperatures for a very brief stint. But now, as we quickly see, everything has rapidly dropped back. A lot of temperatures right now already into more of the 40s, basically what we're going to be seeing during this overnight period. Columbia is still 50, Sumter close. But a lot of the rest of you out there that's not our southern viewing area, again, Winsboro, Camden, Lugoff, more around 45. And as you look further towards the north, that's the interesting thing right now, because this is where we can see a cold front really cutting through the state right now. You go further down towards the low country, there's still plenty of 60s around, but not the case for the northern portion of South Carolina. Obviously, right up into North Carolina, where there's going to be some lower 40s. You look up towards even Chester there, 43, looking at Lancaster, 45, even more in the way of down towards Bishopville, 45 already. A lot of temperatures around, though, again, 50 for the Columbia area. You push it down to the south though. Barnwell still winning out close to 60 there. Further southern stretches of our viewing area getting a bit different of these fields right now. But of course, that cooling trend rapidly approaching everyone. And then that's all going to be followed up by rain tomorrow. So we continue to push closer and closer to that. Why just the umbrella reminders are coming for tomorrow because this is all going to be continuing to have a slow decline, further dipping down moisture, just uh, really easing itself back into the state again. So as we get into the morning hours tomorrow, it's not as bad, but it's more of wanting to have the rain jacket or the umbrella with you for the later phases of the day because as we churn on everything is going to be continuing to pick up the pace the heaviest stuff is coming during the p.m. hours later p.m. hours especially during commute times home for people so we see that for the typical nine to fivers out there look at this by the time it gets towards four or five o'clock a little bit more widespread with the scattered showers there could be a few downpours here and there then we get a very good burst of rain during the overnight period here's eight to nine o'clock more in the way of some heavier rain consistency then it works its way through so this is why we're not going again with an alert day between the days because most of the bulk of rain is overnight for Thursday. Then it dies out into Friday morning. But still see here hanging around 5, 6 in the morning. Then it will continue to push its way out. And honestly, 9 o'clock, we're looking to be uh, having a little bit of clearing for upstate South Carolina. Take a check at this. Going into the day could actually end the day with some sunshine for that Friday. Yes, it's going to be cooler, but... Hey, you know what? Going into, of course, that afternoon and evening there, not too shabby. And then uh, with that clearing, more winds that will be pushing out of a northerly direction. Temperatures will work to tumble again. Easily some chills in the Saturday morning. Going with some 20s, with some wind chills around 20. Very cold Saturday morning. Make sure you have the coats ready for that. For tonight, not too bad with the temperatures. 47 that low, but you could see a stray shower here and there. And then, of course, tomorrow... Happy Groundhog Day, Puxatani Phil. See what's going to be going on with the groundhog up from Miles State, Pennsylvania. Big, it's a big deal up there. As we uh, see, we continue on more of these temperatures consistent with being below average the next few days. We work to get into Saturday where sunshine's there. Yes, it's even there later on Friday, but colder temperatures will be coming their way. So you want to make sure again you're dressing warmer before we actually get warmer next week.